Okay. So, we're gonna play Clue on the Sega Genesis. It's kind of like the Super Nintendo game. Mr. Body was found in the study. Was Miss Scarlet the key? She was seen with the rope. Would she have used it? So, for those who don't know, Clue is a mystery game where you have to figure out who the killer is, as well as where and how the murder was committed. So, you yeah, got five difficulty levels. Amateur? Nah. Because, uh, I'm gonna do amateur to make this video short, and we're gonna, for number players, uh, let's just, let's do four. We'll play as, uh, play as Colonel Muster in the Super Nintendo game, so I'll play, uh, Mr. Brain. Okay, next it will be, uh, Colonel Mustard. Miss Scarlet. And Mrs. Peacock. Look I did it right. Yep, I did. Good. Now I gotta look at my cards. Mrs. White. Lounge. Dining room. Kitchen. Okay. So, I have a notepad on the... You may not see this, but I have a notepad on the right to keep track of everything I have. So the cards in your hand will tell you who, what, and where is not the answer to the crime. So this game is kind of like the Super Nintendo game. Okay, this is Mrs. Peacock. I think the music on the Super Nintendo version is a little better. I think the Super Nintendo has uh, better graphics. Better music. So Miss Scarlet goes to lounge suggesting herself with the revolver. What happened? What happened to lounge tonight? So it turns out that no weapon was the was in the lounge. Huh, no wonder it was not the lounge. It's one of those games where it'll give you clues on who was where, what was where, or who had what. Okay, baby stubbies. Okay, ballroom. I think it was, uh, let's see, I'm gonna say I did it with the wrench. I don't have any weapon cards, so it could be any of the weapons. So, something is in the kitchen, for sure. Wrench, for sure. The wrench was in the kitchen. And I have the kitchen card, so I know that it is not the wrench. So Mrs. Peacock enters the conservatory. Okay, Colonel Mustard, the candlestick. Hmm. Something's in the ballroom. The candlestick was in the ballroom. Okay. So the candlestick was in the ballroom. So we got three clues so far. Okay, so Colonel Mustard would like to make a suggestion. What does he think? He thinks it was Mrs. Peacock with the rope. Peacock, explain yourself. Oh, what's up, Professor Plum? So it turns out he has the rope. Let's 
So the rope was held by Professor Plum. I gotta roll. Okay, I'm gonna say it was Mrs. White with the light pipe. Let's see what's happening. Oh, it looks like green. Mr. Green. So Mr. Green held the lead pipe. So Mr. Green held the lead pipe. We just need to know where they are. And we know they can't be in the lounge, kitchen, or ballroom. I just got in my turn. Mrs. Peacock is going to take her turn. Scarlet? In the dining room, she thinks it was Mrs. White. Let me tell you something. It's not the dining room. No, it was Mrs. White. And if she had the revolver, it's not that weapon either. I don't know why I did that. What happened there? There was no weapon in there. No wonder! No wonder I was not in the dining room! Well, now we know something! That's good to know! Good to know! I don't know why I'm using that voice, basically. Ugh. Okay, so I guess I will uh, take the secret passage to go to the lounge. I'm gonna see where I think it was Miss Scarlet. Uh, let's see with the candlestick. What happened? Okay, so it's Miss Scarlet. What does she have? Tell me. She had no weapon. Okay, now we know something. It was not Miss Scarlet. So she didn't have a weapon, then it's not her. If a suspect didn't have a weapon, it's not that suspect. If a wep if a weapon was not held, it's not that weapon. If a room is empty of either a suspect or a weapon, it's not that room. Basic. Okay, so no weapon was in the conservatory. Getting somewhere. We just need to figure out where the revolver, knife, rope, lead pipe, and revolver were. Mrs. Peacock? Lead pipe. Let me tell you something green, the lead pipe. Not Peacock. One of those in the hall, sure. Definitely the pipe. Okay, so Colonel Mustard is going to take his turn. He's going to make an interrogation for sure. If you don't know, an interrogation is when you pick any combination of suspect, weapon, and room. You can only do this twice. And when you do that, anyone who has uh, anyone who has one of the cards will show them to you as will show them to the player as proof. Seven people walked into the hall that day, but how many would be able to walk out? Mr. Green waited with his anticipation. He picked up the pipe! Wait! I'm certain it could not have been Mr. Green! I have proof! And by that, that means Mrs. Peacock has the Mr. Green card. And since she has Mr. Green and he had the lead pipe and he was in the hole, it was not the lead piper hole either. This is that easy. 
Okay, so it was, it was Professor Pluma at the rope or someone else was something because Miss Scarlet didn't have anything. Yeah, I checked that off. Okay, so it's a lounge, conservatory, and dining room, and no weapon in there. I wonder where everyone was. Hello? There we go. Kind of slowed down. Okay. Why didn't she just take the secret passage? The ballroom. He thinks it was Mrs. Peacock with the revolver in the ballroom. I wonder what happened there. There's a clue. No one had the revolver? Okay, for one thing, that makes no sense, because there was a gunshot. We wouldn't know if it was a gun, because we hear a gunshot, so how would no one have the revolver? That just doesn't make any sense to me. I've been told that a way to kill someone with a gun rather than just shooting them was like, like, like... Like, whack him on the head or something? Like, really hard? I guess that's- I guess that's true. So no one suggests me anymore because I'm innocent. That's good to know. Mrs. Peacock is in there alright. And there's a, and by that, there's a chance that it was Mrs. Peacock in the ballroom with the candlestick. Miss Scarlet's making an interrogation to make sure. So she, her interrogation is that it was Mrs. Peacock with the candlestick in the ballroom. Let's see what happens here. The ballroom was filled with the echoes of parties long since dead. Mrs. Peacock visited nervously. She found the candlestick. Hmm, that's an interesting possible scenario. If she doesn't, she, she, I don't think, see, she doesn't have any of those cards, so she, that means she wins. She just makes the accusation, and then she wins. Mrs. Peacock with the candlestick in the ballroom. And that's the solution to this mystery. The ballroom was filled with the echoes of parties long since dead. Mrs. Peacock vegeted nervously. She found the candlestick. She might have looked harmless, but then she... And? This is too much! My lawyers will be getting in touch with all of you! Well, well, I won. I figured it out. I cracked the case. So Miss Scarlet wins again. So yes, the pretty girl wins again. That's all for this video. Bye.